patient, uh, when you look, has a model density in the liver with multiple air bubbles. And if you look really, really hard, uh, yes, it could be an abscess, but it, it looks more like necrotic, which, again, could be an abscess, but it's really extensive. Now, you can have abscesses that are extensive. This would not be the look of an amoebic abscess, which is right lobe but cystic. It's not the look of hydatid liver disease, which 80 plus percent will have calcification. I would think here, could this patient have had a process like diverticulitis or appendicitis and got secondary abscess? Could this be a patient who had recent surgery? I always like surgery as a possibility because when you see hepatic infarcts, particularly patients who've had surgery that involves the liver's vascular supply, I'm always thinking of a patient who had a Whipple's procedure. One of the complications is a hepatic infarct. And here you can see there's additional lesions in the liver besides the uh, area of infarction. So this was a patient with metastatic disease. This patient had had surgery, and this is hepatic necrosis with a large hepatic infarct, a really good case.